have our matchup. We have two matchups going on at the exact same time. Uh, this one, since we, uh, well, we have four matchups going on, but we have two of them streaming at the exact same time. Uh, ones that we haven't streamed before, so we're covering right now on this court with Jazzy's live stream account. Um, it is uh, Michigan State versus uh, Saginaw Valley, two powerhouse programs for Michigan. Um, so we're going to see these two really be aggressive, and it's going to be a fun match to watch. Over on my live stream account, we have Jazzy, who is covering the CMU versus Kentucky Wildcats. That's okay. We're coming up in a few in a few seconds on that one. Our other two games being Alex. Go ahead, take it away. I'll let you talk. Our uh, our, our other two games, uh, the court directly across from us. Uh, we've got. Townsend University versus JMU. And then at the far end court, we've got Grand Valley versus UWP. So we'll be updating all those games as often as we can. Yeah, uh, a lot of the uh, the people that have been out of the tournament uh, have already left. They've already started to go home, some of them with upwards of 10-hour drives home. So it's a little bit more difficult as the uh, as the teams get eliminated to broadcast as, as many as we would like. So you got us, the dedicated alumni volunteering our time here at Western Kentucky. Uh, Preston Center, which has done a fantastic, I don't know, it's been a great tournament. Don't you agree, Alex? I wholeheartedly agree. It's been fantastic. We haven't had, uh, you know, knock on wood. State versus uh, Saginaw Valley. Now these two teams are not that far away, so they have played each other again and again. Uh, we've, we've talked about this before. There seems to be a lot of dodgeball communities just, uh, uh, in Michigan and, so, and a lot of them in California as well for some reason uh, but none of the ones in California have translated into NCD8 teams but the ones in Michigan clearly have there's about four or five programs there that have been dominating the scene for the past four or five I don't know even more longer than that to be honest so whenever we play an all-star tournament it's always Michigan versus the rest of the world uh, because they're Michigan State teams or are just so good just Michigan in general Number 27 of Michigan State is coming out, or sorry, 77 is coming out, flinging them. He is so strong with his throws, and I, I mean, everybody just ducks out of the way is what I'm seeing so far from number 77. Big guy off to the right. You're going to see him. Uh, currently, Saginaw Valley with a massive lead. It's like 4, 8, 12. They got at least more, more than 10 players versus uh, Michigan State's 6. So as Michigan State is getting really close to already having a shot clock of 10, and it's only three minutes in. So you can see the action is really, really fast-paced in this game. Okay, no, uh, we do have the other live stream up as well. So anyone both links that, are on Facebook. Okay, the, both links are on Facebook. Anyone that's looking for the University of Kentucky versus Central Michigan game, that live stream is up. Apologies, had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties. Still no points. Uh, on the board for any other uh, games. We've still got 22 minutes left in this game we're covering here. 17 minutes left in the JMU game. I'm good. Right? Uh, I'm good. So what we're seeing is uh, Saginaw Valley is really uh, setting the tempo of this game early. They've been playing up. You can see them in the neutral zone just setting up camp. They aren't going to leave unless Michigan State allows them. Hi, Jazzy. How you doing, bud? Looks like Saginaw is dominating this first point. Is that what you guys have seen so far? Yeah, they're, they're just posting up in the neutral zone. There's nothing uh, much uh, Michigan State's able to do right now. Well, number eight for MSU just got a big catch. Might galvanize his team. Looks like MSU has seven players in jail, so eight out there right now, and I count... Looks like maybe five, so maybe like a 10-8 advantage for Saginaw. Not too terribly big of a lead, but hey, every little bit in dodgeball counts. I mean, it's 15 on 15, so getting a two-player advantage, a two-player swing is a big deal. What it looks to me from another court, it looks like Townsend University is slowly being whittled away on their first point at 18 minutes left. Um, as far as this one goes, Classic Saginaw Valley domination. Looks like over. Looks like over for the Grand Valley versus uh, UWP game. Still no points on the board, but it looks like Grand Valley has a considerable uh, man advantage. Uh, I can see one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe only five players on the court for UWP, and what looks like most, if not all, of Grand Valley is still on the court. 
How's UK doing over there? Not good. <laughs> Looks like they got one player left over here in the UK versus Central Michigan game. Central Michigan about to go up with a very quick first point. We'll see how long this UK player can hold out. Not likely. It's very exhausting to be the last player. So. Yep, Townsend about to lose their first point, which is a shame. And there it is. First point goes to JMU. Um, 15 minutes and 23 seconds left. JMU goes up 1-0 over Towson. What do we? What do we? Can we tell exactly what's going on here? Do we have a um, some kind of reset? I think maybe. Um, oh, we have a ball. We have a ball that has blood on it. So maybe. Finger, finger check. Hand check. Check your limbs. Reset coming. I'm gonna try to get a uh, I'm gonna try to get a count here. We got three six. Yes. Yes, University Kentucky down one now. Um Michigan State got seven players left. Saginaw got Four, seven, eight, nine, as far as I can see. Once again, these angles are a little bit difficult for us to handle because <coughs> we have posted up in a place that hopefully we can see all four games and we can, so we can bring you those kind of um, updates as they come out. We got a ball that went up a little bit too high over the rafters. We're getting that for him. Play resumes. A catch from number 56, Mr. Cook, on Saginaw Valley that puts them even further ahead. All they got to do is chip away at this. Saginaw Valley's uh, coach, uh, McClure, 007 is her number. Ooh, a Michigan State catch from number uh, uh, 96. Big momentum swing. Oh, and it goes right back as Fitzgerald, number 68, on as Saginaw Valley makes a catch, too. So, uh, just right back to him. Unfortunately, as we're watching so many games at once, it lessens the broadcast of one at a time that we used to be able to do. But um, I know that you guys want to know what this Elite Elite eat. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that they want another score. Will be nice. I think what we'll try to do for next round is I think we're going to try to instead of running two different broadcasts at the same time, what we'll probably do is have the games on two courts next to each other, hopefully, uh, and we'll be able to just cover both games simultaneously from one broadcast. Uh, just so because right now we've got one broadcast up with no real commentary. So is uh, I rig Mike. Be a lot of Kentucky fans. There's ten of it. There's ten on ours now. Oh, we're we're getting up there. So Saginaw Valley is going to. Uh, cat call request. What is this? Go Saginaw. Spencer Jardine's watching right now. Spencer Jardine. Man, I miss you, bud. I want you to know, Spencer, that you were one of my favorite players from Saginaw Valley. I'm glad that For you're joining us. You might not know who that is. Spencer Jardine is, oh, wow. Saginaw Valley royalty. <laughs> and uh, uh, just alarmingly unattractive as well. <laughs> he's going to comment back on that one, Alex. I guarantee it. But I'm glad that he's he's tuning in for the Saginaw Valley game against Michigan State. So, Got uh, Ryan Men saying, go MSU from Kent. So we got a Kent fan cheering on MSU. There we go. I'm just glad. I'm, I'm hoping. I, Spencer Jardine says, I miss you more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, a nice catch from Michigan State. That's the problem with these last few players. Michigan State, an incredibly good catching team. So they're going to they're gonna just knock down that, um, that clock and wait for the throws. But, I mean, Saginaw Valley has got the arms to handle a solo throw. So I think it's just only a matter of time before they whittle uh, it down to one. And once it's down to one, you're, you're pretty much shot at this point. A quick update. Looks like uh, Grand Valley did take a point from uh, UWP. So they're starting in on their second point, I believe. Um, Michigan State trades another one back, another catch, but one person gets out. So they're still down to two. 
do an amazing job number uh, number 18 and number 27 on Michigan State is uh, they're just they're staying alive that's all they they can really hope to do prolong this point so the half is a little bit less of a pain to handle for the next one. They're obviously on the worst end of the court because the balls are bouncing back towards Saginaw Valley and it'll be the opposite that's happening on the next half. So they just need to make sure that this half is as less, as, as painless as it possibly can be, as few points that they can give up right now as they can. Spencer, to mind his man Spencer mind your manners, I will cut the broadcast. <laughs> well, did he comment back about your uh, ugly factor? What is, what is it? Yeah, he's being salty. <laughs> he's being salty, okay. Number 27 still staying alive. Oh, no! The, uh, the, the judge, the referee has called him out, so there's down to one, 18. Who's hoping for a catch, but it's just not going to come from um, when so many players are throwing to him or at him at once. Plus, he has to throw every 10 seconds, and Saginaw Valley can hold out 15 seconds at a time before they throw, so they can really wait for a big ball advantage. They should not be throwing alone like they are right now. That's a very silly decision. They should just wait the clock out every 10 seconds, get another ball. You're going to eventually, after the next minute or so, get a huge ball advantage. Here we go. we got a team throw, and there it is. Grabs the shoulders. 